Welcome to lovely New Hampshire. This is episode 46 of the Daily Decrypt, independent members of the LTB network. I'm your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by B&C Exchange. Behold, I have acquired this to give away to one of you, dear viewers. So this was made by the folks at Ledger Hardware Wallet, hand compiled in France. It contains a Bitcoin wallet, which keeps your coins in cold storage, but you can spend from them by plugging the device into your computer. It contains an adapter, so you can also use the device on your mobile phone. And it also contains a few other goodies that I don't know about because I can't open it. It's sealed like a can of soup. And I would like to send this to one of you, dear viewers. So I've decided to create a How Do You Crypto contest. To enter, send us a five to 10 second video of yourself telling us how you use cryptocurrency. So do you use it on a prepaid debit card? Do you mine for profit? Do you use it to donate to charity? Do you pay your rent in it or your employees in it? However you crypto, tell us how by uploading a video to YouTube, Vimeo, doesn't matter. You can even make it private or unlisted if you want. And then email your video submission to decentral at tutanota.de or if you'd like to PGP encrypt it, the email address for that is in the description below. The deadline to enter the How Do You Crypto contest to win the Ledger goodies will be Wednesday, December 16th at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Email me! I recently discovered this new animation studio, actually because they tweeted me, and they're called Motion Animation, and they make animation videos for Bitcoin. I mean, they probably accept other currencies too, but they accept Bitcoin. And this is notable because a lot of crypto projects are somewhat complex, and it really helps marketing efforts to have short, snappy, animated videos. So if your project could benefit from some video marketing, Tell Motion Animation that Amanda from the Daily Decrypt sent you for 5% off of their fees. And they didn't actually agree to this, but I kind of think that they would. So try it, and if it works for you, let me know, because I'm confident that it would. Blogger Nicholas Schobinger has again published an interesting article talking about the monetization models of digital businesses. And this got me thinking of more people that we met at the conference, particularly Ira Miller, who is starting a company he's calling RDOV. And RDOV exists to help people monetize their open source software projects. And I think this is hugely important because as the world becomes more and more cryptoized, Open source software developers are going to be like the most valuable people on the planet. And so the easier it is for all y'all who code to make money, like the better for me, right? This is pure selfishness here. RDOV has published a lot of documentation, but I don't think they'll be launching until after a crowdfunding round. I just wanted to put this on your radar in case you are an open source developer, because it looks like easier models to make money will be cropping up for you, so you don't have to be hungry and you can keep putting out free software and you will be supported. So we have a sponsored shout out today from Node40. Node40 is a masternode hosting provider for Dash masternodes. Right now, masternodes are making about $35 worth of Dash per month to provide passive network services. A thousand Dash are required as collateral to become a masternode, and Node40 services cost 3.25 Dash per month with discounts for longer commitments. And so if you are interested in being paid to support the Dash network, and I believe they're the only cryptocurrency to date to pay their nodes, but you still have questions, visit node40.com because apparently they're there all the time and will answer whatever questions that you have. And that leads perfectly into the next and final story, which is that over the weekend at the Latin American Bitcoin conference, again, um, Dash announced their next development, which will be a protocol level way that people can pay each other by like, you know, just like their name and like their friendship connection, rather than having to constantly send out new addresses all the time. And I talked to lead developer Evan Duffield about this, and he explained that when you connect with people on your Dash network, you can choose to generate a bunch of addresses ahead of time and automatically push it to these people so that when people just pay you based on you know your name and friendship with them, it's still going to a new address every time, which will keep things nice and private. And I think that's pretty groovy. And it's also worth noting that uh, the Dash team was the only altcoin team to come and market themselves to the Bitcoin community at the conference, which is pretty cool. 
Thanks for watching. Today's episode has been brought to you by B&C Exchange, which will be open source, web-based, and yeah, decentralized upon its launch. And ownership of the exchange will actually, well, is currently publicly available through the crypto equity tokens called block shares. And block shares are going to pay Bitcoin dividends to their holders once BNC Exchange is launched and running. Learn more at bcexchange.org. And if you're watching today's show on the LTB network and you'd like some free LTB coins, anyone can do this. Enter the magic word persistence. Ciao.